guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted a YouTube video. Um, I was actually working on a second YouTube channel. So if you guys don't know, I actually run a planner shop. Um, I basically sell everything like planner related. Um, I'll leave a link to my shop down below. But I started a second YouTube channel and it's going to be all about planning and planners. Um, basically everything like planning and paper related. So. Um, if you guys are into planners, if you love to plan, definitely make sure to go and check out my other channel as well as my shop. Again, I'll leave um, my other channel and the shop link down below. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be so much fun and I'm just so excited for it. I don't have a video up yet. So my first video will be up very, very soon. It might even be up by the time you guys are watching this. But um, anyway, so that's where I've been. Um, but I'm excited to be back here today filming another fashion video. And today's video is going to be um, a review, a try on, and a couple of different ways to style the Sarah Flint Alexandra boots. So I actually filmed a similar video with a different pair of Sarah Flint boots. Those were ankle boots. Um, and I love, love, love those ones. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. I'll also have it linked over here so you guys can go and check that out. These were sent to me by Sarah Flint. Um, and they are knee-high black suede boots. So if you're not interested in this specific boot, you can fast forward to the styling part of this video um, where I share um, really a couple of really great ways to style knee-high black boots for the fall. Okay, so, so like I mentioned, um, these boots were sent to me by Sarah Flint. They are the Alexandra boot, and they're basically a um, like knee-high, very fitted, um, stretchy suede boot. And oh my gosh, I love these so much. Um, again, I'm not just saying that because I was sent them. I picked these out. Um, there are a couple of things that I don't really like about this boot, but in general, I really, really love these. So this boot is a stretchy suede. So if you've ever tried like the Stuart Weitzman knee-high boots um, or thigh-high boots, the material feels very, very similar to the Stuart Weitzman boots. Um, very stretchy. I think these are a lot more fitted than the Stuart Weitzman ones. So they're, they're way tighter. Um, the other thing is that these do have a zipper on the inside uh, just to make it easier to take on and off. The toe, I really, really like. It's not a super pointy toe, but it's not super round either. So I would say that it's a really nice, just kind of like almond toe. Um, and then the heel is absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna, I hope you guys can see that on camera. I'm not sure how well it's showing up, but um, it's a tortoise shell heel. And um, I think the height is about like an inch and a half or so inch and a half I think or maybe two inches but it's a really really low heel and it's so comfortable to wear um so I really really like that I actually don't have any like um shorter chunky heels um I have a pair of thigh high Stuart Weitzmans that are I think about like three three to three and a half inches and then I do have like a very um flat Stuart Weitzman boot that has like a much flatter heel but this one I just thought was really cute um it still looks very feminine it's not like a you know like block it's not like a super wide um block type heel but it just looks still very dainty very feminine and i just absolutely love the tortoise shell with the black so this boot does come in two colors um i believe it comes in like a deep burgundy color and then this black one i decided to go for the black because i just think black is super versatile and i don't really wear burgundy that much but um okay so in terms of comfort these are really comfortable in terms of heel height so no problem no issues with walking um, my feet don't get tired you don't like the ball of my foot doesn't get sore from the heel um, there are two things that i really really dislike about this boot the first one is the height of the boot shaft i think it's probably because i'm on the shorter side so i'm 5'2 and these boots hit me in a really really bad spot um it's really really not flattering it cuts like right below my knee and because these are much tighter than normal boots it kind of like squishes all my like leg and knee fat up so it's just really not flattering um and i've seen this boot on other i've seen this boot on other people and it looks really good and the only conclusion that i can draw is that um i'm short so these hit at a really weird place on my leg i found a way to make them work so i just kind of like pull them down a little bit and have them be a little bit scrunchy and it actually doesn't look that bad so um that's how i'm planning to wear these boots um so yeah if you're on the shorter side just kind of be aware of that um the other thing that i really really don't like about these boots is that it's very, very uncomfortable, like right here. Um, so it's 
it just rubs really bad on the back of my like ankle like you know leg area um, and so it's quite painful but those are the only two things otherwise I absolutely love these boots I think they're just really really pretty the style is you know really well designed and the cut and everything and the toe and just everything else about this boot is just really really um, lovely I think if you're looking for a pair of knee-high boots um, these are a really great option the price point is pretty um, comparable to the Stuart White thigh high ones so they're quite pricey but um, I think the quality is definitely there um, very very comparable to my Stuart Weitzman ones and I actually like the cut in the heel of this one better so I would definitely recommend these um, you know if you're okay with kind of doing some adjustments to the shaft to make it fit or if you're not super short I think these would fit perfectly in terms of height um, on those of you who are not super short and then you just have to keep in mind that it does rub back here but other than that love these and I would highly recommend really love these and I would highly recommend them so um, now I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different ways to style these boots for the fall um, all right, so now I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways to style this boot for the fall. Um, all right, so now I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways to style these boots for the fall. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways to style these black knee-high boots for the fall. thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below whether you prefer knee-high boots or ankle boots for the fall I'll also link my Instagram and my blog down below if you guys want some outfit inspiration I post my daily outfits on my Instagram um, so definitely go and check that out all right guys thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week bye